Hello Garden Friends. Uh, we are in the month of January and today we're talking, we're discussing hellebores. And uh, with this last uh, very uh, frigid cold snap that came through here in Kentucky and other uh, gardening zones, um, it took a toll on some of our hellebores um, and some that were uh, less exposed uh, to the temperature as far as being covered with foliage or protected by another uh, shrub um, saved some of the blossoms. Now some of these, um, I don't know if you can see right here, uh, this was a bud. Um, so the, the area that it was colder was from this uh, direction. So it uh, kind of nipped some of the buds, but we're very fortunate to have some new growth, new buds coming out. What I'm going to do is, so you can see how mushy uh, that is, is I'm going to snip that away just to get that, um, you know, the, the wetness uh, away from uh, the healthy blossoms. And what I'm going to do as well is what you to do your January maintenance to your hellebores is cut back your old foliage. And that is exactly what I'm doing. And that way it will expose your beautiful blossoms and um, you'll have uh, fresh new foliage that's coming up for the next growing season. And uh, over here is another hellebore. Uh, this one, um, did not have any buds at the time that the cold snap came through, but you can see now it's budding up pretty well. This is a rosy pink. It's absolutely beautiful when it blooms. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut back all of this old foliage, and I'll be right back to show you the finished hellebore. And now I am back showing you what uh, the finished plant uh, perennial looks like after all the old foliage has been cut away and just look how beautiful and fresh it looks. So uh, we'll just uh, wait for these buds to turn into blossoms and to mature uh, for them to be cut for fresh cuts here at the farm. Happy gardening!